Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Sonic Origins. Today, we are starting the fourth and final game in the collection, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. So yeah, we have a new enemy slash friend, I don't really know, in Knuckles being added to this game. I know that this is sort of the longest out of the game, so it'll be a lot of fun to play through and hopefully everything goes well. So with that being said, let's get started with Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Oh man, so after the death egg is crashed onto the floating island, what is Eggman up to? <laughs> He's not happy. No way. Is that a huge emerald? Uh-oh. It's Knuckles. And he's even less happy than Eggman was. Oh no, he isn't. He's lying about Sonic and Tails. He's making them out to be the bad guys. They're gonna team up? That's no good. Welcome to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So right after Sonic 2, we hop off the plane. We're super Sonic, we're going straight into our adventure. Look at him go. Wow. Oh, and there's Knuckles. He knocked out the Chaos Emeralds right out of us. Give those back. So there's our introduction to Knuckles. He just steals our Chaos Emeralds and goes. That is interesting, isn't it? All right then, so I'll try my best to be pretty thorough in this game and try to get everything as we have with all the other ones. Now, just like Sonic CD, I haven't really played this one ever, so it might take me some time to explore as we are running around Angel Island Zone, I think it was called. But man, already this game is super pretty. I love the how the parallax scrolling in the background is. Just the pixel art in general in this game is really, really cool. Watch it, oh boy. But there are, of course, Chaos Emeralds we need to collect throughout the adventure in this game. I'll be trying my best not to miss them, but there's also just a lot I'm not really sure. I think right here. So there'll be a lot of hidden areas in this game like this, and when you run into them, you can find hidden rings. And this is going to be our way to get Chaos Emeralds in this game. So basically we need to get all these blue spheres that you see here. Um, and to do that, it's super weird. I've never done this. I've just seen a lot of gameplay on it, but you just sort of run around in circles to get these different, uh, little blue spheres, you can get rings along the way. I don't know if the rings are required, but I know you need to get all the blue spheres without running into the red ones. Um, I think the red ones are game over. Or maybe the white ones are game over, I'm not really sure. But uh, I'm going to try to avoid the, the red ones for now and see how that ends up working. But yeah, this is a pretty neat little game. I know this one's the most popular among most Sonic fans. I don't know if I'll like it more than Sonic 2. Okay, Mr. Ring, I don't think that's the end of the world. Uh, right now I'm just trying to get all of the, oh wait, no! I thought that since I got them all, it would turn in the rings. Okay, that didn't work. But luckily, you know, with it being Sonic Origins, I get a second attempt, so we're not too worried about it. I do like the music so far, though. And that's really something to be said about the entire game, as I know the original Sonic 3 had quite a good soundtrack. I know that some of the songs had to be replaced in this collection. I don't know which ones, so I guess we'll find out as we go along. But it looks like yeah, we had to go this way. And it feels like it might be a bit difficult to explore these areas because everything sort of looks the same. But if we make a big circle around these, as you can see, that turns them all in the rings, which is pretty nice. And at the least we'll try to get 100 rings. Maybe that way we can get some extra coins and such. Okay, there's that done. But where do I go from here? It looks like this way. But yeah, we can only really move in correspondence to the little checkerboard pattern. Here we go. Now we're picking up the pace again. So that's gonna bring us down to 31. So we just gotta keep running around looking for more of those blue spheres somewhere. Not this way. Uh, maybe over here? Oh, 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 and we're going faster and faster as time goes on, so. Let's just try to be careful and find where I'm supposed to go next, because there's another 30 of them somewhere? I don't know where. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh no, I missed it. There we go. I'm good, I'm good. Come on. There's another group of them. I don't know if I'll worry about the rings too much because like I said, I don't wanna... Oh, we got perfect. That's good. I guess that means I got all the rings in the stage. Whoa, okay. And there we go, we did it. So that should be our first Chaos Emerald. So just like always, it is the green emerald that we're starting with. Sonic got a Chaos Emerald. That's awesome. So of course, just like in the last two games, we have six more of those to find. So we'll have to look all over the place. And look at this, we get some coin bonuses. 
three of them. That's great. So I'll try to be as thorough with that as I can. But so far, really fun. We're back to Angel Island Zone. And I think that there should be one more little hidden ring like that somewhere along the way. We'll look out for it, but for right now, I'm focused on enjoying the level. Whoa, those things move quick. Oh, uh, I almost got a Tails got it. Okay, there you go. Oh, there's some invincibility. I'll definitely grab that. Okay, now we're moving. Okay, well, wait, let's deal with you. And I don't know if there's maybe a 50 ring sing at the end of the level like there are with, oh no, previous Sonic games. So I will try to at least get the 50 rings and see what that does. Oh boy. Oh, we're up here. Avoid the little monkey if I can. And what's going on down that way? I, I don't think I can reach down there from here. So where are we going? Through all the hedges and stuff. Oh, this is cool. So I think I found an alternate path. So I think from here I'll turn around. We'll rev up. And now we're moving. Whoa, <laughs> running up the tree and everything. Uh-oh, did we run into Eggman already? What is that thing? Oh, it's firing missiles at us. Watch it, oh, I almost got hit. Let's, whoa, wait a minute. It lit the whole place on fire. This is not good. The forest is gonna burn down. Whoa, wait a minute. So what is this? Bonus stage. Will this also get me a Chaos Emerald? I don't know. Uh. I guess I just bounce off the wall? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Am I supposed to collect those? I don't know if I'm doing anything. Oh, okay, I see. Whoa. Um. Okay, I'm a bit confused. I don't think I want the one that looks like a cannonball. Oh, but I can bounce off of it. I'm getting some bonuses. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. I, di I didn't know that was a thing. Either way, we can hop down this way, I think. Uh, maybe. Whoa, there we go. And this is a cool new shield we have. It gives us like a double jump. And it sends like this little spark out. But if we go to the left here after the island has been lit on fire, whoa, we got another hidden area. So we'll get more blue spears here. Or spheres, I keep mispronouncing it, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I haven't really played this game, but I had to sort of look into where these secrets could be so that I could know where to actually get them for the series. Um, but I only looked at the ones where I feel like I really needed to. And for most of it, I don't really know the level layout itself, just some general little areas to keep out on the lookout for. But either way, this is still very cool to experience for the first time. I've also seen a lot of people play Sonic 3. It's just one of those things where I never had the chance to play it myself. Okay, so there's a couple more of these. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess I'll go left here. I had a choice of going left or right. So I'm guessing it'll all loop around. But I wanna get that perfect again because we've got three coins for it and those coins could be really useful later on. Because right now we've been using the coins to retry for these um, these bonus stages, but I wonder if maybe they'll have a bigger purpose. I know there's a museum in this game, so maybe at some point we'll be able to use them on the museum. Oh, this is a huge cluster of them. But now we're really starting to move quick, so I gotta grab all of these. But obviously, the difficult thing is, is that the more time we take with these, oh gosh. So this is definitely not a dead end. I don't think I've been this way. I can't tell. Okay, there we go. Um, whoa. But the more time we take getting on the rings, the faster Sonic ends up going. But I gotta be honest, the turning on a dime like that is a little dizzying. I'm trying to get used to the motion of it. Oh, this is the last ring. Excellent, so we got the perfect marker there. We just need to get the rest of these orbs, which, this might be them? Yeah, we did it! All right, that one was on the first try too. And this time we get the orange gem, or emerald. You know what I mean. Okay, Sonic got a Chaos Emerald. So far, an excellent start. So I don't think we could get Super Sonic as quickly as we did in Sonic 2, where if you just find a checkpoint, you could just get another one. But, you know, there are still, you know, a number of secret areas you can find in each level, so we'll try to find them all. But I think that's everything for Angel Isles Island Zone Act 1. We already got the checkpoint, so there's no more bonus stage there. So we're just moving forward. What can we do about the whole island being on fire, though? That's really awful. Like, Eggman is sort of stooping to an all-new low here. Whoa, whoa, that was cool. All right, so as you can see, though, with this game, the visuals are upgraded. Sonic has a bunch of cool new moves. Why didn't that work? Uh, There you go, I got it, I got it. It really seems like a, a fun combination of everything so far. I can't quite get in there. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing something different, but I can get up this way. Hey, wait a minute, ah. Oh, can I jump into the, s that was a silly move. Uh, what do I do here? Um. Okay, it's back. Oh, come on. 
there has to be a better way around, right? Uh, maybe through here? Oh, wait a minute, there's a platform. Ooh. So we get another one of these lightning things. Oh, and these also sort of auto-collect rings that are near us, that's pretty cool. I'm going to avoid all that, I think, because I really don't want to get hit again. I want to keep moving forward with the level. And oh no, what do we got going on now? It's this thing again, we gotta get rid of this, because, oh no, oh that made me lose my shield. But we're doing a bunch of damage to it, we got rid of it. We can't let it do any more damage to the island. And I guess that's the end of the level, Sonic got through act one. So that was a really cool first impression of the game, if you ask me. Things went pretty crazy. But now we're at Angel Island Zone Act 2, just starts right where we left off, how cool is that? Oh, we're going really quick, and right into our next one. Whoa, that's cool. So, we get more blue spheres to collect. Let's go for it. So this time we had, I think, 120 of them to find and 80 rings to collect as well. So hopefully I can keep up with that. And like I said before, the faster we can go, the easier it'll technically be because Sonic isn't running super duper quick. But luckily, I'm never feeling too pressured just because we can retry as many times as we want. I feel like this would be a whole lot more stressful if I was playing the original Sonic games because we wouldn't get that retry. We wouldn't be able to spend the coins to reattempt these. So each one would really have to count. So luckily that's not the case here. You know, sometimes just modernizing the game so that they're more accessible in terms of difficulty, in my opinion, is pretty good. Okay, especially since the classic modes are still available. I wish you could sort of turn in place, so you didn't actually have to like turn like that, but maybe do like a full 180. I mean, maybe you can, whoa, 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 whoa. So far so good though, we have less than 50 of them to get. And we can jump, I think there's ways to jump over the different orbs, but it's gotta be careful. We're going this way for now. I really hope I haven't missed anything, because it would be difficult at this point to backtrack. Okay, whoa, okay, wait, no! It, ba it made me go backwards. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Good to know, though. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, let's try again. Dude, I think the graphics here just look so cool. I can only imagine back when this game came out, this was really interesting, because of course, Sonic 2 sort of had a 3D bonus game, but I feel like with this one, it's a little bit different, because you can sort of control Sonic in a 3D space. You can go in any of the four directions, you know? Um, while the previous one, Sonic is more or less just running in a straight line and you're just controlling him to go left and right. But with this one, you just have full control of him in a way. And that must have been really cool. And I feel like th there was another Sonic game after this that was 3D in a way as well, but it was isometric. I don't think that's part of this collection, unfortunately. But hey, maybe they'll release more games for Sonic Origins at some point. Maybe a DLC or something, that'd be interesting. Anyways, let's focus on this game. And so far, we're doing okay, we just gotta keep it going is all. See, there's this right here, and I hope I, oh, no, 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 no! Okay, so when you hit that, you just don't stop turning or going backwards. Is there a way to prevent that? I'm not really sure. Okay, I think I'm doing good. This might be the last group of them right here, I sure hope so. Ah, oh, but I didn't get the rings in time. Huh, so that wasn't a perfect one. I guess that's not the end of the world, as long as we get the Chaos Emerald but I don't know how I would have done that. I guess maybe if I jumped over one of the blue ones that sort of connect the other areas, that could have been a possibility. But either way, we still did good. We got three Chaos Emeralds so far. Can we get a fourth in today's episode? I'll certainly try. But for right now, we're just gonna keep it going and see what snacks. I guess I go this way? Yep, looks like it. Oh no, we got some underwater sections. That water must be really hot if it's everything's on fire. Oh, can I go into here? Yes, I can. We got another shield. Whoa! Oh no, I lost it, but that one makes Sonic slam down when you press the jump button again. That's cool. And we get an extra coin, which typically are what the extra lives are. Okay, there's a spiky log that I have to be careful for. Oh, that's interesting. So as you can see, when I press jump a second time without anything, Sonic still has a move now. It's like a little attack. I don't know if I unlocked an item for that, or what exactly it does, but I'm guessing it just does maybe a little bit of damage or something. Oh, can I go into here? Yes, I can. All right, we're zooming over. And I'll bounce off of this one, if I can. Whoa, wait a minute, not what I wanted. Let me try that again. There we go. So what's going on in here? Whoa, something's moving. That's awesome. It drained the water. That's so cool. All right, I didn't know that was a thing. You just, you just see that. 
Oh, and we got another bonus stage. What is this one? Whoa, it's a little arcade machine. Oh, do we get the jackpot? Sort of, we get a Sonic and two jackpots. That's still quite a lot of rings for us. Do I get to go again? Oh no, it's like Sonic 1's. I don't like it, but we, we, we made it through. Do we get the triple knuckles? That gives us some rings. Let me get back up there, if you don't mind. Oh no. No, I hit the goal. I didn't even see it down there. All right, well, we're back to Angel Island Zone now. Okay, so I don't exactly know where we are at the moment, but I'm pretty sure there's still one more hidden area ring kind of thing we can get for another Chaos Emerald around here, so I definitely want to look around for it. Oh no. Oh, that was not good, but it's okay. It doesn't seem like ending the level with a bunch of rings really matters too much. Whoa, huge jump. Wait a minute, before we go over there, can I just look around a little bit? There are springs everywhere. I didn't even mean to jump, but I guess you sort of have to around there. Yo, let's get rid of the little rhino guy. And before we mess with that too much, I just want to see what's down here then. Maybe there's something. Oh, here it is. Awesome. So this should be our fourth one, and we got to get all the blue spheres. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Um, Let's hope that this is a good idea. Okay, that turned them all in the rings, or at least most of them. Okay. This one looks like a, a picnic blanket. All right, making me a little hungry. So for this one, same deal, I just need to go into a big circle here. So only the ones that are larger than two by two will create rings. If it's just a collection of four spears, spheres, not spheres, I don't know. Oh no, <laughs> get too distracted by my inability to pronounce spheres correctly on the first try. All right, let's try this again. That means that this is nine rings right here. So I'll have to be fancy about jumping over stuff at certain amounts of time. Oh man, oh this looks complicated. Does this work the way I think it would? Or if I go around the entire perimeter of it, it would turn it all in the rings? Cause that would be really cool. Yeah, it does, wow! Oh, that's awesome! It might take me a minute to collect them all, but whoa. Especially with how much speed we're already picking up. If these really, once you start moving around a lot like this, I'll try to refrain from doing that, but I gotta do what I gotta do to actually survive. But that does definitely make me a little dizzy. Okay, so where are we going from here? It looks like there's a little collection right there. Same deal here. Okay. But so far, I was a little worried about how this would control, but so far, it really isn't that difficult. Oh, I need to, no, oh, no, no! Ah, oh, darn. Let's try it again. It's not that difficult to control. It's still challenging, don't get me wrong, but I thought it was going to be a mess. But so far, it seems like it has aged well. I don't know if they updated the controls at all with this collection, but I'm definitely enjoying myself, so that's good. Okay, so once again, I didn't get all the rings, but I did get all the spheres. So there we go, our fourth emerald of today's episode. We're making fantastic progress. Sonic got a Chaos Emerald. So three more left to collect, right? I'm pretty sure it's seven. Okay, well, let's find out. We're back in Angel Island Zone. I can't go back that way, so we'll just head over here back into the water. Okay, so I can't go that way, but maybe over here? I'm pressing the wrong buttons, whoops, sorry. There you go. Got it, whoa, okay. And now I can keep up over this way. I want to. Oh, there's not really anything over there. Okay, never mind. Whoa, 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 hold on. This is not where I meant to end up. I'm right back where I started. Okay, where am I going? Hey, come on. This is not so productive so far. Come on, try again. All right, Sonic, you got this. I'm just worried that he's gonna just disappear on me again. I bounce up here and here again. Look at that one enemy is uh, staying away. If we get rid of them, they're not popping back up. Okay, this time we got it. The music here is so good too. Like I said, I'm not really sure. Oh, there we go. Whoa, so we got this again. And with this, we can slam down like a little bubble or a bouncy ball or something. That is so much fun, I love it. Um, I don't know which songs were replaced and which ones weren't. Oh, and that just bounces right off of me. Yeah, you get out of here. But so far, the music I have heard, I really enjoy. Get another bonus stage. Oh, it's gonna be the uh, the gambling machine again. Do we just get, oh no. Ugh, that's not so good, right? I don't I don't think that's good. 
Okay, it's fine. We can just go give it to another go. Not another. Not the Eggman. We get two rings. I guess if we get an Eggman, he might drain all of our rings. That happens sometimes too. Ooh, the triple ring? Whoa, okay, well actually that didn't give me too much. Do you think that would give me more than just like four or five rings, right? But I think triple Sonic or triple Jackpot are the ones we're really looking for. Are we gonna get triple Knuckles again? That was a fair amount of rings before, and this time as well, we do get another 100 rings there. And there's a couple of rings just to collect floating around too. I love the background too, all the floating shapes. Oh, can we get triple tails? Almost, almost. Come on, try it again. Come on, yikes. I wanna see, whoa, can we get a big one? No! Okay, that's, that was almost a big bad one, but either way, we're back to Angel Island Zone. So what's interesting is that the gameplay's really cool in Sonic 3 so far, but there's a lot of things that I dare say interrupted, you know, a lot of these different bonus stages and stuff. You aren't playing for very long before you run into something, but I'm sure that as we get later in the game and we've collected everything, oh no. What is going on? I gotta run. There's a ship overhead. The whole island is starting to just be totally engulfed in flames. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not good. Run, Sonic, run. What do I do about this? I can't hit it, so I guess I just gotta book it. Oh no. Oh no. Was that it? We just had to outrun the whole thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, here he is. Eggman finally shows his face again, huh? Couldn't have just left things alone when we beat you in Sonic 2. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh man, I almost fell. That would not have been good. Okay, where is it gonna pop up at? Over here. Whoa, okay, that's not good. Now I know though. This is so bad. I've already done a little bit of damage to him, so if I can just avoid getting hit now that I know how his moves work, Tails keeps falling off. There we go, we got him, see ya, Eggman. So there we go, our first Eggman fight survived, and look at this up here. I guess we gotta hit this thing to free some more of the little critters. Stay safe and on that fire. But there we go, we got through our first zone in Sonic 3, that was great. I had a lot of fun. And looks like we're just heading over to the next zone or something. It's Knuckles again. He's teamed up with Eggman, no! Knuckles pressed a big button to make us fall through the trap door. I don't know exactly where we'll land, but I guess that's something we'll figure out in the next episode of Sonic Origins. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.